So, how is everyone? I hope you're all well. Look, I think eventually you have to ask yourself a question when there's so many things that point to that question likely giving the answer that you perhaps don't really want to hear. And in the Kylie Rodney case, I feel that one of the biggest questions that's probably floating around right now is whether law enforcement are simply incompetent or there is corruption here. Now, a lot of you have seen, I've been sent it a lot, I'd already seen it from other creators, and there is this information going around regarding the law enforcement statement, regarding the, same regarding a lot, that's the word of the day. But referencing the divers at Prosser, and you think to yourself, look, We've seen footage of them obviously putting divers in the water in the boats. But how intensive was that search? And you have to ask yourself, look, did they really care? Were they really looking because they were just incompetent? They were complacent. They thought, look, we'll give it a quick look and call it a day. But then... The thing that I feel really uncomfortable with is the fact that they specifically told Adventures with Purpose not to search there. They had told them that they had searched it. There was no, there was no reason. It, it was done. And you think to yourself, why would you do that? You, like even if you've looked for something yourself, you could say to someone else if you hadn't found what you was looking for, what is the harm of them looking? They're there. They are specialists. This is what they do. You know that their equipment that they have far surpasses what you have, but yet you're still not wanting them to search there or trying to put them off searching there. And that, to me, is where there's that element of doubt, that element of, hold on a second, why did you not want them to search there? And when you pair that with the animosity and the anguish that was thrown around once they had indeed found Kylie there, and look, people have turned around and said, there's an ego thing here, you know, and I, I get that, there's an ego thing here, but then you could almost say, well, hold on, that's not... Right, you can't bring ego into it. When there is a child that is missing and subsequently found to have lost their life, how can you bring ego into it? Isn't law enforcement about some professionalism? You know, you should have immediately thought, right, we've screwed up here. We've screwed up here. And the first thing we need to do is apologize and say, look, this is this is a mistake by us and something that we need to learn from. But Adventures with Purpose have come in and they have found her and this is now where we need to put all our efforts into making sure moving forward that this case is handled with a different amount of intensity and, and virulence and getting everything done what needs to be done. Not this seemingly slapdash way of handling it that they did and and again it it points to two th two things and it is incompetence or some degree of corruption somewhere even the way that they did the the extraction of that vehicle by not making sure that it was secured and then flipping it underwater and dragging it out. And you think what that would have done to the integrity of what then became a crime scene. You know, it, it damaged the vehicle, so they now don't really know what damage was there initially. They emptied a large amount of contents out of the vehicle and they could have done damage to Kylie herself while doing that process. And then once they were told that things had been left out of the vehicle and in the bottom of the reservoir, they then failed to come and get the stuff. Not for some time anyway, several hours in fact. And the way that they then enabled people who were some of the last people to see Kylie alive to let them take charge of things that, again, could have jeopardised the integrity of of 
the investigation, which they're all so eager now to push out. We can't tell you this. We can't tell you that. We won't do this. We won't do that because of the integrity of the investigation. But yet, the handling of the extraction completely destroyed the integrity of the investigation and allowing unregistered and these these kids to be involved where they were at the beginning and, and talking to people and potentially manipulating witnesses and certainly the video evidence to go through them. Right, we don't want that one, delete. Do you know what I mean? It just That's nothing to do with the integrity of the investigation. That's to do with washing your hands of it and saying, right, if they want to deal with it, let them deal with it. And is it is it negligence on their behalf? Is it complacency? Is it... <sighs> Is it money? Does money talk? No, you tell me. Where are you? Because at the moment, and look, I, I'm a I'm a supporter of law enforcement in certain situations, but it just seems that in certain cases, and predominantly where there's children or young people who have become victims in some way, shape, or form, law enforcement they don't seem to be on the ball. They don't seem to be able to handle it properly. And when you read into the past handling of cases in this area, it doesn't paint a brilliant picture. It's almost like you could say that this is a place that needs to be rebuilt from the ground up. And look, I've done videos on Mr. Wu in the past and, and different bits and pieces around this area. We know that, well, we know what we know. <laughs> you tell me. Is law enforcement in this area, is there corruption there? Or or is it just that they're, they're overstretched, they're understaffed, they're... Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to be fair. But the more you start looking into where things have gone wrong and what they've failed to do, something don't sit right with me. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you all in the next one.